daily game plan for success. It's Sacks in the Morning. Steve Sacks. Hi, Steve Sacks here with Sacks in the Morning. Welcome to Wednesday, May the 3rd. Today we're going to be talking about something I've alluded to a few times on the podcast, but uh, we're going to get specific a, l- a little bit today, and that's the great element of class. And all my friends, family, people that know me know that I think class is a great, wonderful thing. You know, the funny thing about class when you think about it is like success, like happiness, class as well, it doesn't take any talent to be in that situation, to have class. really doesn't take any talent to acquire it and to keep it. I think it's a really great thing. I think it's something that gets overlooked today. I think it's something that gets put in the back burner a little bit too much today. I wish we didn't have politics and sports mixing because then you see a lack of class come out in people when they're get, you know, all riled up about their politics. Let's keep politics and sports just a little bit separate. I think that would be a a great thing to do. But, you know, when you're talking about class too, what's it about? Well, it's kind of how you treat people. Are you going to be a giver or are you going to be a taker? You know, when I came up in baseball, I mean, there's a few guys that really showed class to me. Davey Lopes was part of the longest running infield in the history of Major League Baseball. Nine, I believe, nine years that he and Russell and Garvey and Say were part of the quartet that led the Dodgers for all those years. And I was the one that came in and broke that infield up by replacing Davey Lopes. Now, this guy could have taken upon himself to say, well, I had to learn on my own, and you're taking my job. And he could have secretly been thinking, so you just go ahead and sink or swim, whatever. Nope. That's not what he did. What he did, it was he showed a lot of class. He was out there early, many times, showing me the techniques that led him to be one of the greatest base dealers ever. And he showed me a lot of really good things about base dealing, even though in just probably a few short weeks, I was going to be replacing him and take his job. He knew it. Everybody knew it. Um, It wasn't a secret. But the guy had class. And I'll never forget that. This is some 30-some years later. And I still remember how much class he showed in doing that. And also coming up in a general sense, Steve Garvey and Dusty Baker were two guys that took me under their wing on another level, you know, on the personal part of it and showed me where to eat and where to go shop and do these things and where to, you know, stay out of trouble. These guys didn't have to do that. They could have said, well, you know what? Again, I... Had to learn on my own, sink or swim on your own. They they didn't do that. So class to me is one of the greatest things, I think, that we can show to one another. And also, Don Sutton was a guy that I was facing when I first came up in 1981, a guy that was a Hall of Famer. I knew he was going to be a Hall of Famer. And I hit a home run off of Don Sutton to break up a shutout bid that he had. He was going for his 56 career shutout, which would have been a Major League Baseball record. I did it with two outs in the ninth inning. And believe me, I was surprised as everybody else was when the ball went out of the ballpark. All I was thinking was don't strike out. And I wound up hitting a home run off this guy. And I, I almost wanted to apologize because of the respect that I had for Don Sutton as he was a member of then the Houston Astros. And this happened at in the Astrodome with two outs in the ninth inning. So it was right down to the last strike. And as I got into the dugout, the next player was out. And so the game was over and I was getting my stuff together and I felt this tap on my shoulder and it was Don Sutton. Well, what he had done was he had retrieved the ball that they had thrown in from the fans. When you hit a home run in the opposing ballpark, they throw the ball back in the infield. I didn't know they had done that, but he got that ball And he had signed the ball, and he gave it to me. He says, I just wanted you to know I think you're going to be a great player someday. And while I'm not happy you broke up my shutout, I wanted to give this ball to you and tell you I'm a big fan of yours, even though I'm on the other team. And I thought, wow. are you?" I was shocked at the class, at the sportsmanship, at an act of selflessness that I was shown. And it still gives me the chills today when I think about it. And it will never leave me. The act of kindness, the act of mentorship, but mostly the act of class that he had shown me. It was amazing. And that's my short for today. If you like what you heard, give us a positive review, subscribe, and share. Also remember that the Sacks in the Morning swag is now available on my Instagram site, go to Sacks in the Morning underscore podcast. You'll see it right there on the Instagram and just hit the link.
Everything's there. Mugs, hats, tumblers, you name it. Take advantage of it. 